Penny, did you ever think you'd see the day when the school came out of special measures? Yeah, I think we knew all along that it would because we were absolutely committed 100% to achieving that. But of course, the school had a double whammy really of pressure because you not only had the pressure of special measures but also the pressure of possibly being closed down. Yeah, that definitely didn't help. Morale sunk quite dramatically in the autumn term last year. Um, and when we, when we were determined to battle closure because we believed in the school, we believed in the children and we knew we could do it. But some people might say as a reverse psychology, that, that um, almost no one likes us, we don't care, solidarity, I mm. wonder if that really helped the school, is, is in your morale? I think we've always had a strong solidarity. When I first came here, that's the first thing I noticed, was um, a real community spirit in the, in the wider sense and in the, the sense of the, the way everyone does pull together. And, and it is a, it's absolutely a community and it's absolutely part of the wider community as well. So, you know, self-reflection, how has the school improved in the last two years? It's dramatically in many different ways. I think it has been a big uphill struggle. Um, Just stop there. It's okay. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'll go back to the question again. So in what ways has the school improved over the last two years? Um, it's improved in all sorts of ways. Um, when the school went into special measures, basically there was no um, head, deputy head present and um, no permanent members of teaching staff. So one of the first things that happened was we stabilised staffing. Um, we had a good look at the curriculum to see ways we could make it more interesting and appealing to the children. We did lots of work on safeguarding measures, making sure that children were safe. Um, making school an enjoyable place to be so that they wanted to come, that would raise attendance. Um, improving equipment, resources, all sorts of things in order to make the school a viable working place, effective working place. So do you say you're enjoying your teaching here more than ever now? I, I love working here. Um, I think I realised that I would like it as soon as I arrived because of this really strong team spirit, the way everyone works together. The, the, I wouldn't say there's a family atmosphere, it's, it's stronger than that. There's a, a, really, um, a really strong supportive bond between the staff members and uh, the children benefit from that. So what happens now? What happens now is we would like our next officer to say good. <laughs> and then outstanding, that's what we're headed towards. We've already got, there were lots of elements in, in the last report um, that that were, we were thrilled about, basically, that where, where we had achieved good. Um, the report said that we were welcoming and well-respected, that parents, carers, um, pupils and staff sang the school's praises, and it, it, it's true. Um, we had strengths in important areas. Um, one of the things that we, we're most proud about is the safeguarding measures, keeping children safe and secure in school. The children feel safe and 100% of parents returned the forms, um, Ofsted forms, saying that they felt that their children were safe at the school. Um, the report said that the children enjoy coming to school, they really enjoy coming to school in fact, they, they like their lessons and feel they're well supported um, and behaviour in and out of lessons is good and occasionally outstanding. And that has, that has definitely changed since I first came. I think when I first came to the school, um, over a year ago, um, children had, had had a rough time, they hadn't had consistent teaching and they hadn't had consistently good teaching and they, they felt that they'd had a rough deal and that had affected behaviour. Um, now that they are getting a good deal, behaviour's improved amazingly. We, we can trust our children to behave, to move around the school in a sensible manner, to be kind to each other. At Bolton in the school, you know, you, you really celebrate education. If you go down all the corridors, there, there, there's collages and very bright and visual, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's one of the things that we've worked on. Um, there's the the dual purpose with the displays of celebrating achievement, um, making the school a positive environment, and actually also uh, using the resources as a teaching tool. So we've got ideas for the children to learn as they're walking around school, things for them to read. 